Hey, Matt. Hello there. This is my new voice. New and improved, hopefully. I mean, to me it is. I don't know if the... There's only so many listeners that have heard me in person and not through a microphone. Because some are like, oh yeah, it's fine if you just don't have the bass turned up. I'm like, okay. (laughs) But you also only know me through a mic. And nobody believes me when I tell them my voice does really weird things through microphones. I think that's everyone's voice because even when I hear myself, it doesn't sound like how I think I sound. Right. When I hear you, I'm like, yeah, that's Matt. Like, uh, I'll be listening to podcasts in my car and then ours will start playing after one finishes. And I'm like, oh, God, no. Stop that. No. (laughs) I can't illegally reach for my phone fast enough to just be like, skip, skip, skip. No, get out of it. Stop listening to myself. I can't do it. Anyway. Today, I was stopping at, uh, I was stopped at a red light, and there was these two kids in front of me. Back to college season. Ah, it it is is. back to college season. It's a good time to be alive. And I could tell by the way they're driving, like, they're on their phones. So, I stopped the light. I stopped behind them. There's a car in front of me, and to the rain, rain, lane to my right, there's another car. The good old rain, that right lane. And I'm looking at both the drivers, and they both have their heads down, looking at their dicks. Which, obviously, they're not looking at their dicks. They're looking at their phones. I honestly would have been more okay if they were looking at their dicks. So, I'm like, oh, we're going to see how this plays out. Light turns green. Nobody moves. Sitting. 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 I look at their faces. What I could see of their faces. (laughs) And I look up at the light. I look at them again. And I'm like, all right, it's taking too long. Gave them the old beep. And they both did the quick, like, head up and, like... Stomp on the gas thing. I probably would have realizing their age and stuff like that. I would have been more uh, liberally aggressive, and my window would have been down, and I would have yelled, "Get your fucking car moving!" It was just one of those situations where You're like not an old old woman that deserves just a nice little honk. Yeah, it was just one of those situations where I just couldn't believe that the concentration is so high of these ass hats that there was two of them, and they both happened to be in front of me. And they were both like college kids driving their fucking douchey cars. Listen, man, ricers are a real thing, and Tinder's real important. Yeah, that's nail squarely on the head with an atomic warhead. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't put that nail in. Anyway, what are we doing? Anyway, this is a podcast about gaming and other things sprinkled in liberally, called Gamers Two. Uh, that's like the most apt description <laughs> other than mildly organized chaos that I've ever yeah. heard. My, yeah. Mildly organized chaos. Sounds pretty good. It's August 2nd. And, uh, yeah, that's it. So what have you been doing the last seven days? Minus, uh, you know, being stuck in traffic. Um, have I watched anything? I don't think so. Um, have I watched anything? I watched Apollo 11, that documentary. It was not what I was expecting. Oh. So I was expecting an actual documentary. So... You know, them being like, this is what's going on. So I was going to say something uh, akin to that when you told me about it. I was like, I don't think it was an actual documentary. uh, But I couldn't, in good faith, remember. So I was like, I'm just going to say yes. Because I know there are ones... I know there are ones that exist. It's fine. It was actually... It was legit just Apollo 11, like the launch, it happening, the whole thing through flight control. And like, obviously they condensed it down in parts because I don't want to listen to fucking six days of these astronauts flying through space, just pissing in a uh, thing every six hours or whatever. Hey, they got those pissing SFX down real well. It was really fucking cool, actually. And like the film, like the... The footage they had and everything, they had cleaned up really nice, and, and it was wicked high detail, and aspect ratio was really cool. Um, I was actually kind of upset with myself, because I was watching it on the iPad while watching, while doing dishes, and I was like, this is doing this, like, this is such a disservice to this. Um, You're a disappointment. I am a disappointment. So I watched that, that was cool. Check it out if you uh, are curious. Um, About space and things. Speaking of space... The Chinese stole the fin design from from SpaceX apparently for their rockets. Read that today. Nothing, not really surprising since they're massive IP theft all the time. Yeah, and 
stealing a fin design, I'm pretty sure the United States is known for stealing designs and or the scientists that did them. <laughs> See, that's different. All right. <laughs> You're right. My we bad. liberated them from Nazi Germany. Okay. Mm, I don't know about liberated. They were Nazi scientists. Liberated. We gave them freedom. And then we said, you come work for us. <laughs> you have a nice rocket design. It'd be a real shame if someone gave you some freedom. It'd be a real shame if somebody else did something about that now, wouldn't it? Um, that is now my rocket design. <laughs> my rocket. Uh, we played Wolfenstein, one level. Speaking of Nazis. Um, but I'm playing a lot of Division 2. I, uh, I have seen you logged into Uplay. I did hop in and play a little bit. Yep. Um, I probably put in six to eight hours this week, which is good for me. That's that's six hundred to eight hundred percent more uh, video games than you've had in about three months. All the content that has been released to people who don't have the year one pass, I've done so far. Mm, okay. So I did the two missions and I did the expedition crap. Did you do all the, you only did the, obviously the one expedition, right? There's two available, I think, now. Well, shit. I've done one. There's I did uh, the library. The library and then the metro station. Okay. Metro wasn't, I think, available when I did it. So the library, pretty big, you know, pretty sizable. I, I can only imagine the metro's bigger. Metro, I, I can only, there's maps on the walls and it still doesn't make any fucking sense to me. The library didn't make any sense to me. I, I almost messaged you and been, I was going to be like, get on division. Because you're gonna have an the aneurysm. Other, the other three people in here, I want to blow my brains out. I need somebody that I can talk to to find things. So the library I did by myself, oh. and I meticulously went through every room really before starting anything. Did you find the the center? Stash? I did, but I don't know how to open it. There, I found the control panel. Okay, I was I saw I walked over to the keypad, saw need uh, panel input to access, code or whatever, or panel that yeah. some panel to access, and I was like. Well, I'm ignoring this fight now and because there were guys shooting all of us. And I was just like, I mean, the place was burning down is when the mm -hmm. fires were happening. And I was like, where's a control pan? I looked like John Travolta from uh, <laughs> Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction. When I'm just doing the, <laughs> just kind of looking around like, uh. and then I finally just kind of ran around a corner and saw when I was like, bang. That's interesting. No? Okay. Then I walked over and it gave me a prompt. And I was like, that must have been it. And then I ran back and it was open. Yeah, so I haven't done that. Uh, the metro station, you're going to lose your shit. There's there's so did much you, stuff everywhere. Did you run around the area? I did. A little yeah, bit. Yeah, because I, I did a lap. There's, I once again start looking in the weeds for those damn thin green gun cases because they're fucking there. Yep. Goddamn loot hiding sons of bitches. How dare you give me such good, such much loot. Such much loot. See, and the other two, the missions themselves kind of irritated me because there's yep. so many nooks and crannies and yep. nothing in them. There's a ton of nooks and crannies and nothing in them, but then there's loot rooms with a lot of things in them. But then there's also sometimes difficulty finding those loot rooms, and there's also like six stories you have to navigate, and the entire time I'm just going, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, because the people I'm playing with are just sprinting ahead. Yeah. And then getting pissed at me, a little fucking keyboard warrior. I didn't have anybody keyboard warrior me. Um, but I, I tend to, I think, usually get lucky in that regard. But I, also, I, I also do, like, not against you, but I move much faster than you do. Like, in terms of, yep, pick this up, move fucking on. Oh, I I started taking up that mentality. I just gave up, and I'm like, listen, if I'm going to come back, I'll come back through here by myself at some point. Um, so I'm just like, I was the dude who was pushing everyone forward and people were getting pissed at me at that point. So I was, <laughs> ah, I was like, fuck it. The good old and roll then, flip. <laughs> yeah, I did roll flip them. And then I shepherded. I did the shepherding thing. Oh, I have not shepherded yet. And it was really cool, actually. It was super satisfying. I hopped into the one mission. I just was bored. And I was like, I don't know what to do. So I was like, I'm going to do a random help someone out thing. And it put me in one of the new missions with someone who's like 430 or 440 or something like that. Okay. And... I literally was just fucking nuking everyone. I felt awesome. And uh, got to the end. And I'm like looking at all the shit I got. And I'm like, I'm 499. So I'm like, this is killing me. And then I realized I had all this shit that was four, 490 something. And this dude's over here like, burr, 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 430. And I'm like, fucking. And I literally just like vomited like yeah, nothing an asinine amount of gear on him. And he's just like, what the fuck's going on? That's and how I, I got to... 
from like 430 or whatever when we stopped playing to Mm -hmm. 470 something is I was running random missions and I got done with one of the challenging ones and guys that were 490 something and 500s were like, all right, well, I don't need this. Good luck. It's all yours. And they just dumped all the gear they weren't going to use. Mm-hmm. And then I'm just sitting there like, I don't know what I should pick up. And I yeah. just like, uh, oh, yeah, all of it. Leave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the dude went from four, I think, 43 when we finished to four, like 480. And so I did that. Uh, I killed a couple of the hunters. Um, so I have the fucking masks now that are stupid they're cool kind of i guess i don't know i don't know they're um, stupid uh, they're kind of cool <laughs> I, was, I don't know. i don't like that you can't wear the mask and the hat at the same time that bothers me uh and then i, I wear masks and hats different masks i think yeah um i downloaded a mobile game gundam battle gunpla War- warfare i think is what it's called if you're listening and technically you are if you're hearing me say this i guess i Almost fell over when he told me he downloaded and played a mobile game. It was almost as surprising as him not being able to find the lid to a dip container. But oh my god, that was terrible. <laughs> good old French onion dip, man. You just can't you lids, know. man. Great camouflage. Um, yeah, white on white. I haven't played enough of it to say anything conclusive, but it's I had it had me giggling because it like. <laughs> It's aware of the tropes and it like feeds into them. And I'm like, this is fucking hilarious. Like, <laughs> like, you know, like the cute Japanese girl running up being like, be my partner for this tournament thing. And you're like, oh this is, God. this never happened. Like, this is fucking stupid. Or like, don't like, it, they give you all these like dialogue responses when you're interacting. Oh, and then so you she, actually have a dialogue like tree. That you can have yeah, it's super basic, but like you can, it just has goofy responses, goofy, like anime comedy responses and stuff like that. And then, you know, you can build gunpla and fight with it. And the the Gun, combat system. Gunpla. Listen to listen to the man talk, people. This is this is the words of a nerd. <laughs> I know it's really embarrassing to talk like this, but the pretty combat soon, system. Pretty soon you're going to be telling me that these anime girls make some face that's the name of a bread, like Asiago or something. <laughs> fucking losers. Um, the combat system's like a little bit more. Um, in depth than I thought it was going to Not be. Tap Fest McGee. It's because that's how I've been battling everything in Pokemon. I'm putting a dent in that really light phone. <laughs> it can be a tap fest. Like there's kind of like an auto attack function, but like there's you can like do all this other ridiculous shit. Like there's different types of attacks. There's dodges. There's do I get guns movements and stuff and like giant swords? Yeah, there's guns. Dual there's wield. multiple types of attacks. Do I get to fly? I haven't got to flying yet. I'm not sure. I was curious about that part of it. So, anyways, that's what I've, I've been doing. And, uh, yeah. So, it's only right that I ignore <sighs> the part about Division. Because, yes, I played. I played with you. Mm-hmm. Uh, did you? I noticed you were running a shotgun when we were playing together. Not yeah. the same style shotgun I was running. No, I did not like it. Okay. Um, I know you need to work tomorrow. But I do want to show you the shotgun I had. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not an exotic or anything, but the one you had, I feel like, was probably at least 100,000 damage less than mine. Probably was. That was the loadout from when I left. Ah. Okay. Um, And I, it was like some, you know, pump action Woodstock, you know. That's, that's your problem. <laughs> You're a classic man. We got to get to the modern times. Uh, start using my M1870s. Oh, look at this. Dead bodies everywhere. Shotguns. Woo. Yeah, I saw you two shotting people. And then I was one shot in a bunch, too. Yeah, when you were. When we were were in that satellite mission, I was like, I almost don't want to do this because I don't know if he's just going to get angry at me. But at the same time, pow, motherfucker. (laughs) Pow, motherfucker. Woo. That's basically was, what I was like. All right, well, I guess they made shotguns good. Like I got super greedy and whipped out and switched to the shield for no reason. I was like, I'm gonna run around with a shield and a shotgun. Pow! <laughs> I was like, I don't know what difficulty he's playing on, but I'm just gonna be super arrogant about it. And then I got down, and I was like, Ah, oh, shit! <laughs> I got put in my place. I don't even remember what we were playing. It was that satellite normal mission, the one where you have to spin the dishes. That was one of them. It's the space, uh, space one. The space. Oh yeah, 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 I was. I think I was doing it for a challenge or something. Yeah, it probably was. 
but I was just like, I don't know what difficulty he's on. And then I got downed by an elite, and I just like, ah, shit. Because <laughs> I didn't have my... Happens every time. I... I Right after that happened, I switched to Seeker Mine and Self Revive, just so you didn't have to come revive me again. Yeah. Anyway. Division, obviously. Division. Fire Emblem. Got another, like, hour, hour and a half in. Still enjoying it. Still... Not in the news, but Fire Emblem outsold Wolfenstein. Oh, sorry. Am I supposed to be surprised? Oh, I thought that was surprising. Not to me. Okay. Fire, dude, Fire Emblem is massive. And this is the first actual Fire Emblem in a, like on the Switch. Mm-hmm. And it's another Wolfenstein that a bunch of people apparently think is Destiny, but we'll get to that, I'm sure, later. Oh, I didn't talk about that. Uh, didn't hear about that. We also played Wolfenstein. So far, so good. I mean, like, we only played the first level. Mm-hmm. We had some fun. Matt tested whether or not he could jump off a blimp. <laughs> the answer is he can't. At least not when you're not supposed to. That was such a disaster for me, that whole level, because, like, I hadn't played a game in a long time, and I haven't played a shooter in a long time, because that was yeah, before. Had, well, even then, it's not the Division. Yeah, and it's that's, a very... that was before I had played any much of the Division, either. Like, yeah. um, like played it, like, got into it again, I should say. Like, really, playing Doom would have put you closer than the Division would. Just, like, trying to use the mouse and keyboard in conjunction in, like, a, a semi-quick way, I was just like, I mean, well, I'm just crouched behind corners with an axe, and everybody just walks around, and just, whack, whack again. <laughs> I'm just fighting anything I see with a hatchet for absolutely no reason. <laughs> oh. I have guns, but I have hatchets. Uh, playing the show, they just dropped more content on me today, so I got a weekend ahead of me. Jesus. But that being said. Getting your money's worth. You bet your ass I am. I've also been playing the Pokemans Goes. Because as we know, Team Rocket is bad, and I am good. <laughs> okay. I am not our social media director, who has lost way too many times to Team Rocket. She has an emergency room count somewhere in the 20s, which means her Pokemon have fainted. Somewhere in the 20s. You want to know how many I have ever at like one point? Maybe eight. And that's when I'm doing raids. Not losing to Team Rocket grunts. Wow. So not even Giovanni. You know what I say she should do? Get good yes, scrub, Matthew. <laughs> yes, get good scrub. I feel dirty saying that. I know you do because she can't defend herself no, right she now. She can't, and I will hear about this. But that being said, uh, I have liberated many a place from the grunts of Team Rocket. I have liberated Pokemon. I have also purged my Pokemon down. I now have Rhyperior and a few others because I finally went fuck this. I'll evolve some. Then, so. Does Team Rocket actually show up at some point? They're technically in the game now. Like Yeah, game. but like the real Team Rocket? Not their grunts? Oh, you mean like Jesse and James and Giovanni? Yeah. I assume we're building to that. Okay. Where they'll actually take over instead of stops, they'll take over gyms and stuff. Okay. I assume we're getting there. That being said, Ralt's Community Day is tomorrow. So I'm going to go get me... Some blue Guardavars, some green Gardevoirs. I'm going to have a good fucking time. It's going to be enjoyable. Dewey hasn't told me he's going to be in the area yet, so I might not be playing with him again. Four community days in a row. Uh, or, sorry, we skipped the one for your thing. So, two, played that one, then this one. I'll beat his ass. Anyway. That's been it. That's been really it. Uh, uh, and then playing some Black Desert. Just dabbling. Uh, I was into it, but then I started playing Fire Emblem and Wolfenstein and other things, and that game can come and go constantly. I'm yeah, that's a he, Todd's into it, but does I, Todd leave it just running all the time? Yeah, all okay. the time. Like if you like, log into Discord, he's on. Yeah, he's constantly on. I'm like, oh. there's a uh, you got a whole slew of people in World of Warcraft now too. Yeah, they're always the ones that have been in a while though. Okay, uh, and yeah, in the Discord, when you see him in, there's a way to run it in a minimized tray window. Yeah. So, it will just go to the system tray and barely be running out of resources in the background. But he's fishing or something because you can automate things. Mm -hmm. So, you can basically, the game allows you to bot it. So, you're just sitting there fishing until, Mm -hmm. like, your resources run out or whatever. And you just there and fish all night. So, that's what he does. Just fish. Get, get, we uh, killed a currency. We killed a Hecara, some sea monster yesterday. Took me about, uh, he built a sea boat. Okay. And then he got some cannons on it. Level one everything. Took me shooting a cannon 25 times or so to kill this thing. 
They are not easy to shoot. Why? They're Why f- would you do this? You're just like, ah, we're going to do this thing. One, we were bored. Two, we wanted to see how hard it was. And three, we're going to keep doing it. Because <laughs> we have, you know, problems. Uh, not reading anything new just yet. Might be reading something new here. Coming up. Don't know yet, you know. The water's testing them. Keeping there's your a, options warm, open. There's heat right here. I don't know why. I gotta sneeze. Echo! Jesus. In case anybody's curious like, what it sounds like when I sneeze, you're oh welcome. God. I sneeze violently, man. People think every time at work, they're like, I don't know if you coughed or not. I'm like, just don't worry about it. <laughs> I don't, like... The demons are inside me. You're not... Every time someone sneezes, I have this, like, uh, this battle rages inside me because, like, the whole bless you thing <laughs> is a holdover. Right. From ancient times. Oh, many. Many ancient times. And, like, I just don't... It's so ingrained. I'm just like, I don't, like... I feel it's unnecessary. Like, it doesn't make... Logically, it doesn't make any sense. Well, theoretically, it's just not okay for me to say at this point. Because, I mean, I don't mean it. Yeah. Like the, it's I'm not just, trying to put blessings on you. Yeah. Here's yeah. what I'm going to yell. Gesundheit and then something else way worse in German. <laughs> I just want to be like, oh, that sucks. Like, just... <laughs> that, that's what I say I'll, now. Oh, if that I, sucks. If, I, if somebody gets to three, I yell at them to quit dying. That's fair. I'm like, just stop it. I'm, I always... sick, of, I'm sick of hearing you. <laughs> Knock it off. Get your sinuses under control or leave the office. Which is usually me because if I get in a sneezing fit, I'm just like, I hate myself. And then I just walk away. Because nobody needs to be around that. But you know what You know what I've been watching, Matt? The Boys. The Boys. You started that. I did. Is it any good? I'm on episode four, I think. Oh, shit. You're going hard. I do enjoy it. Oh, it's good. It's a good time. It's a fun... Uh... Is that... Amazon? Yes. Okay. It's a fun it's a fun show. It's a good time. It's not funny. It's a good show. There are funny moments. It's a good show. You should watch it. I I thought about it in the past. You should think about it in the future. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway. Uh also uh baseball. As per usual. As is on behind me. Yep. It's currently a commercial, but watching uh Ginger Ginger Guard. Throw his first game in the major leagues. Second coming of Carrot Top. But probably funnier and more skilled. And funnier? He's a baseball player. Yeah, I know. He didn't smile once. Have you ever seen Carrot Top? I never found he prop creepy comedy that smiles. funny. And uh, yeah, that's that's basically been it. Fast and loud, you know. Yeah. Um, typical. Yeah. The tip And the typical YouTube rounds. Par for the course. Yes. And, of course, listening to John Boy, because I feel like I should completely sell out at this point. <laughs> Dude, he has, like, how many podcasts does he have? He has Talking I don't, Baseball. I don't know if it's just him, but I think eight. And I know he that, said he, he said network. Talking Yankees, I think. Talking Yanks, yep. Talking Yanks. Talking and Yanks, I was like, Talking Baseball, but they have, I think, every New York sport team covered. But I, I don't think it's just, I think it's... They have John Boy Media is the blanket. Oh, I didn't realize. I, I thought it was just houses, him. That I think houses. He might like be the f- forefront, but that just houses. Okay. Anyway, speaking of things we could play this week, Matt. None of these, except maybe the last one. That's a lie, because I'm about to tell you the number one game that's going to convince you to buy a Switch. Are you ready? I guess. I'll tell you when it's coming. Don't worry. Uh, the first release is Trine 3, The Artifacts of Power for the Switch. You a Trine fan? You play Trine 1 and 2? Negative. No? All right. Well, there goes that fucking conversation topic. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Forager comes out for the PlayStation 4 and Switch. Horizon Chase Turbo comes out for PlayStation and Switch. And if you recall, I mentioned that about being the free game last week, so I don't understand how I made this list. Number four. Harvest Moon Light of Hope SE Complete. Somebody tell me what that means. PlayStation and Switch. Madden 20 for PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. I'll probably be playing in September, but talk to me then. Unless somebody can send me a code for PlayStation. Tweet at Madden. Tell them Nate Killian needs code PlayStation. Love, love. 
Not really. I don't have PlayStation Plus, so it's probably useless. Anyway. Number six, oxygen not included for PC. Number seven, the game that will convince Matt to buy a Switch. Sudoku Relax 2 Summer Waves for the Switch. Have I convinced you? Um, 25%, we'll say. All right, we're halfway to a Switch light. Here we go. <laughs> and also, the other game that will convince Matt to buy a Switch. Burger Chef Tycoon for the Switch. So now we're talking. Some burgers. Some tycoons. And uh, number one goes to you. Ugh. Gross. That's why I did it. <laughs> uh, number one, Tyler Ninja Blevins, the biggest name in Fortnite and one of Twitch's most popular streamers, is leaving the platform to stream exclusively on Mixer. <laughs> Mixer is a streaming service owned by Microsoft that launched as Beam. I for- forgot that it was called Beam. Oh, yeah. Back in 2016 and later rebranded to Mixer in 2017. In a re-follow-up video, Ninja said, quote, I have been holding on to this for quite some time and I'm super, I'm, and I'm just super excited to let everyone know I'll be streaming on Mixer full time now and I'm honestly at a loss for words. I'm freaking out in the best ways. I feel like I'm going to get back to the streaming roots, end quote. Mixer had the following to say. Quote, we're thrilled to welcome Ninja and his community to Mixer. Mixer is a place that was formed around being positive and welcoming from day one. And we look forward to the energy Ninja and his community will bring. End quote. I think it's a, I think it's a branding thing. I think Ninja's always been like all inclusive, like trying to be PC about everything. Not always, but recently. I can show you some highlight videos that are I know. that. <laughs> recently, that's been his jam. Like he's been trying to swear less. He's been trying to like do all that. You know, inclusive stuff. Go Ninja, go Ninja, go. And Microsoft recently has been very much about removing toxicity from gaming. So I think they were just like, hey, be our our pretty boy, our front, our front man. Hey, I also have a lot of cash. Take for this, you. <laughs> take this cash. And he's like, yes. I will take this half step into retirement. I say it is it is funny when he uh there's the interviews from before, right, where he's like, I have to stream yada yada to keep making enough money so I can be done technically in like the next couple of years. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure Microsoft's like, How much money do you, did you think that was gonna be? I'll double it. Yeah. Problem solved. Come you promise to stream on our network exclusively for two years and we'll give you twenty million dollars or something. It might have been more than that. I, I'm. It probably is. There might have been another zero. Because he he makes probably more than that, anyways. And yeah, six months. I, I wouldn't be surprised if it was closer to two hundred million. Mm-hmm. And like that sounds ridiculous. Yeah, but when you think about it, but we also know that's not ridiculous because it's a business investment to pull people to their platform by yeah buying exclusive rights, timed ex- exclusivity to one of the biggest. Streamers. Here's the thing. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, yeah. That's a, going that, there? That's a, boom, a boom, Microsoft Epic Games play. Store. <gasps> um, they basically. I Nobody's feel out like they're freaking out about you know competition's good if they're on Mixer, huh? Huh? Why don't we have it on these? <laughs> <ones>? <laughs> they basically just buy this single move, and this might be giving them too much credit, but I don't think it is in this case. It's going to cause a domino effect. They basically put Mixer on the same level as Twitch, and the, the course I give it six months, and it'll be, it'll be so close. I I understand what you think. Mm-hmm. I see the numbers on the wall. I very much have the hangover scene going right now. I have numbers, <laughs> but here's what I'll tell you, Matthew: Where Ninja was number one, and is number one. For all intents and purposes of this conversation, he will be referred to as number one. Okay. But number two! <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the thing is, Mixer does well. They definitely do. But they are still clearly the number two. Yes. Now, will it cause a domino effect? Yes. But if people left before Ninja, also yes. People that were big, also yes. Just not number one. Mm-hmm. Now, number one's gone. So, yes, there will be a domino effect. 
Six months, eh, you're pushing a little bit. Let's give it a year and a half. Now, I say a year and a half for two reasons. One, people have to wait and see if this whole mixer thing sticks. This is the, all right, they're officially here. Everybody before was like, <laughs> oh, mixer, that's cute. But now that YouTube's kind of backed way out too mm-hmm. of the live streaming thing, mixer immediately took number two. Yeah. So now you have YouTube going, you guys fucking fight it out. And Twitch and Mixer being like, all right, I see you. I see what you're doing over there. It's a cute little thing. But we're still currently at a Steam Epic store. Hmm. And Microsoft gets to play the part of Epic and go, I got exclusivity deals all day. And I got more money than God. Let's more, run with it. More money than Amazon, though? <laughs> in terms of what they put into Twitch, yes. Because they put too much money into Sinking Lumberyard. Different discussion. <laughs> now, <laughs> and if, even though... So, yes. Did they have more money? Did Ninja go back to Amazon and say, if you want to pay me X, yada, yada? Would they have? Probably not. Right. Because is Amazon worried about Twitch? No. No. Twitch will always be just what it was and what it is. They are happy to own it for shareholder purposes, but not for, you know, being associated with it other than having Amazon Prime and Twitch Prime be together. They could give... I don't think they could technically give a shit if it became its own thing again other than like shareholders freaking out yeah amazon makes way more than enough money without twitch twitch is just an icing but microsoft same situation right they kill it with the amount of windows and office cells and all and cloud azure and all their cloud Mm. shit all their it stuff that people don't even realize they're in but xbox is a giant thing and mixer is integrated with xbox directly streaming from those systems so i call it to you matt that i say a year and a half because that is when we will see the new consoles and that is when they will trot tyler ninja blevins out on stage during e3 to promote mixer integration on the new xbox console and then again when he is shown during all of the press tour streaming directly off of a console to Mixer. Yada, yada. What's up, bitches? You can be me, Ninja. Woo! Here's my one issue with this situation is... Is it a great idea? No, probably not. But like My, my one issue that could be the hiccup for both of these companies is n- in their race to be... Number one? Not number one, but to... To not to avoid headlines, they're leaving out a place uh, for streamers who don't necessarily want to be. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Family friendly. Yes. Thank you. That's Peggy, good way of Peggy it. sixteen. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. So I feel like there's going to be a void there to where they're going to be like, ah, we want to mature, it's yeah, have a yeah, mature yeah, stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mature audience. Now and here's Twitch is gonna be like, ah, we uh, ban. I don't know. Microsoft's gonna be like, ah, not not here, bro. Two things. I agree. You're not wrong. But I will present this idea. Because it makes more sense in my head. We're not gonna we might see a little bit around the holiday season, oh you know, mixer, yada yada. Now mixer's not on a release schedule at all. They can do whatever they want throughout the year. They don't have, like, an E3 they show up to. There's not a streaming convention. Well, I mean TwitchCon, but, like, you know what I mean. Like, not all the streaming platforms all get together <laughs> like the like E3 does. And see, I'm, oh, you do three, <laughs> you can get right the fuck out. <laughs> so, here's what they do. Because it makes more sense calling it this than Twitch at, you know, Mixer After Hours. Now, that sounds... Don't they have something called Mixer After Hours? I mean, they're probably just After Hour Mixers, but that's not what I'm talking about. Talking about the streaming platform, not social events. So. Go ahead and look it up. But that's where these people would, they could let them be kind of more radical if they ever decided to make the jump. And also, I was going to say something else, but I don't remember what it was. So I'm going to shut up. What was I going to say? Well, I don't know. We can we can probably move on since uh, yeah we well, talked about Ninja for far too long yeah yeah but interesting nonetheless uh, oh that's what I was gonna say what if 
So, you know, we have Amazon Prime and Twitch Prime and yada yada. This holiday season. Because they can make this move in holiday boost some numbers. Now, here's the proposition. We get to October 31st. November 1st, somewhere right around there, right? Right as we're reaching towards the Black Friday time. We're starting to see all the Black Friday holiday ads. Halloween's done, so we're moving on. We always skip Thanksgiving. There's no commercials for that. Just football. So here's where the commercials start and everything. Starting November 1st, 2019. The, uh, Microsoft, this is the pitch. This is not real. This is not law bind law, you know, this is not a binding contract or anything. Anything I say here, don't believe it if you're a consumer or somebody that doesn't know what they're buying for their child later this year. What Microsoft can do starting November 1st is go, if you have Xbox Game Pass once a month, you have a free subscription to your uh, creator of choice on Mixer. Now. They removed Carrot Top. Yeah, yeah, they did. Hey, six innings for your debut, not too bad. Might get the loss, but hey, you pitched all right. Anyway, <laughs> the November to from then on, that's just when they start really pushing it. Game Pass subscriptions to Game Pass grant you a free mixer subscription to your creator of your choice, same way that Twitch Prime and Amazon Prime work. And if you don't stop watching the game, we're going to turn it off. <laughs> you're worse I'm than, listening. I'm you're listening worse than to me. you. You're worse than me. Anyway. So that's what they could do. Mm. And that's pretty big just in terms of keeping everything in their same ecosystem. Mm. They have a subscription service that they can have Mixer subs on. People want to spend money on Mixer, but yada, yada. Or people already have game pay. Just money, 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 money. Yeah. Yep. More money. More problems. Number two. Sony has warned that PlayStation consoles will become more expensive if the Trump administration goes ahead with higher tariffs on more Chinese exports. In preparation for the potential expansion of tariffs, Sony says it's now considering its options, including passing the cost of production on to its consumers, though one Sony exec clarified that nothing has been decided yet. Console makers have begun confronting whether to take their manufacturing businesses out of China. Last month, Nintendo started moving production of its new Switch models from China to Southeast Asia. However, neither Sony nor Microsoft have made any moves as of yet. That's basically Sony being like, well, you didn't fucking listen to us, so. Welcome to the real world, Jack Welcome Ash. to the shit show. You guys want to be part of this shit show? No, you're going to. <laughs> Speaking of Sony... Uh, Sony revealed in its latest earnings that the company sold 3.2 million PS4 devices in the quarter ending June 30th, meaning exactly 100 million consoles have now been sold in total. Total. Doing pretty good yeah. for the uh, end of their life cycle. Yeah. Not going to... Total air quotes. Not right. hitting those PS2 numbers, but... I, I honestly am not sure anything will. Oh, wait. Uh, Project Stadia, friend. <laughs> Comrade. <laughs> Stadia will sell many a unit. I serve the Soviet Union. Not but, great. Not terrible. Heard it here first. Google. Communists. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> hey, at least I said Google, not Alphabet. Everybody forgets that Alphabet's a thing. Yeah. I do too, all the time. They're and then uh, they'll be like, who the fuck's talking about what alphabet? Oh, yeah. Every every person that's always like, we need to break up Google. I'm like, you don't understand how they did that. <laughs> I'm like, that would have been a statement before. But then they went, what if we had an umbrella corporation? <laughs> Number four. Doom, Doom 2, and Doom 3 are now available on the Nintendo Switch, but they came with an odd requirement. What is that requirement, Matthew? It is. To play the games, Bethesda required players to log into a Bethesda account. Oh, that's super weird. You can imagine the reaction to requiring online connectivity for games released more than 25 years ago, and Bethesda has backpedaled a bit on that decision. Via Twitter, they said that the login requirement would be made optional in an upcoming update. 
in an the upcoming update. Upcoming update. Hop, 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 hop. I appreciated the uh, you know the memes and the the viral, uh, the viral. I hope environment so. that was created. Oh, I'm sure. I uh, somehow missed all of that, but oh, it was fun I've... for a short bit. You know, people trying to play Doom, like the first Doom, and they're like, "What the fuck?" Like, it's great. <sighs> Bethesda making Speaking mistakes. Of Bethesda accounts. God, Wolfenstein was a nightmare to figure out for a minute. It there, was wasn't it? for for a especially, minute. It was especially sucks when you launch the wrong game. Listen, that could happen to anyone. <laughs> all right. Oh, make, mean, <laughs> make your icons look different. What did you launch? Old Blood or New Order? Old Blood. Old Blood and we're playing Young Blood. Nah, <laughs> you got your ages mixed up. Freudian slip. I don't know if that's a Freudian, but... It's a slip. Uh, that's true. <laughs> Mental slip, because old. Nip slip. Ooh. Nintendo has now sold 37 million Switch consoles after moving 2 million units in the April-June quarter. A 13% increase year over year. Uh, it'll be interesting to see those numbers balloon more with the upcoming release of the Switch Lite and the longer battery life updated model coming out shortly. It'll also be interesting just because the Switch is going to keep selling. Yes. Yes, it will. I'm I'm on the fence as to whether the Lite is going to be like, you know, okay, it's another console or people are, are going to buy them. A lot but you can play Sudoku. You could. Just saying. There's you could. A, there's a reason. Number six. Bungie announced that Shadowkeep and the new free-to-play version of Destiny 2 New Light are being delayed from September 17th to October 1st. Suck it, Activision. In the, <laughs> I, the moment I heard this, all I could think is like, this might not go well. <laughs> Uh, in the statement, Bungie said, quote, being independent means that the future of Destiny 2 is entirely on our team, which means we can do whatever the fuck we want. No, sorry. It also means Basically. that yeah, I need to actually read the quote before I start throwing <laughs> my own self in. So let's go to the beginning for the actual <laughs> quote, and then I'll you know give my own opinion. Quote, being an independent means that the future of Destiny 2 is entirely on our team. It also means that we're agile enough to choose to do what's best for the game and our players, even if that's the hard, even if it's the hard choice. If it's just for some reason. Look, ah, yeah, it doesn't work. That's the end of the quote. Uh, the delay is actually being received with a positivity from fans as it moves the launch of Shadowkeep further away from Borderlands 3 release. Now, Matt, immediately being the cynical bitch that I am, went, man, can you imagine if they were still at Activision? That's not getting fucking delayed. Nope. You're going to push closer to away from Borderlands, which you need to not be near Borderlands. But you're also going to push closer to other shooters. Mm -hmm. And you're well-received from the fans are well-received from the people that always backed you and always defended you and said Activision bad, Bungie good. Mm-hmm. Now, I've been one of those people, but I also think Bungie bad in the last few years. <laughs> so, I don't know that you're going to be able to get away with this all the time. And if you don't deliver on October 1st and you push again, that's where the problem comes I don't comes know in. if you'll be... It, you have to drop on October 1st, I think. Or the next push is going to be, man, if they were still under a AAA publisher that could push them in the right direction, you might be able to play it. But, you know, we'll see. They're, this is uh, going to be one of those low-key things that I feel like impacts the industry a lot. Yeah. Like, if it is successful, obviously we'll see it happen more often, I think. But if it's not successful, it's you're, that's it. Like, and I think that's big just to say not even for the delay itself, but for what this expansion the yeah. free-to-play model and stuff means. That and Bungie going independent. Like, right. If they do not succeed so say this drops now right and by march yeah like march april they're still in like a real weird situation after this drops your next september to april next year there's a lot you need to kind of navigate if you want to be a free-to-play service game borderlands cyberpunk i don't need to mention more Doom's in there. Pokemon's in there. You're going to tell me that 
po- Pokemon is going to upseat a lot of people. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be a fun ride. And I am not going to be on the train, but I'll be waving as it goes by. The bungee train? Yep. Or the... Okay. The bungee train. Okay. I'll be waving as the fans go by because... You got I, off uh, a couple stops back? I might. I might. Once it goes free to play, maybe... I, like, I own the base game already, but once the it goes free to play and I can play all the content up to Shadow Keep, mm-hmm. I might go back and just play that just to see what's going on. But if I have to touch Mars again, it's not even the... the uh, whatever his name is from Team Fortress. It's not that I fear it. I just fucking hate it. Not Mars. I don't know. Whatever that first expansion was. God. I burned it. What sour, was the first one? Sour taste in my mouth real fast. I'm pretty sure it was Mars. I don't remember. Oh, well. It was a red planet. I'm pretty sure it was Mars. I don't I, know. I... Well, I only see it with it's either it red sounds, because the planet was red or because my anger at this point is just painted the screen red. Mars sounds good. Um, Death. Death. Android Police, which is a website. Detroit Become Human? Oh, are reporting oh. that Google has started testing a new Play Pass subscription service that offers, quote, hundreds of premium apps and games, end quote, with no ads or in-game purchases for a flat monthly fee. Customers pay a monthly $4.99 fee for unlimited access to a catalog of premium apps and games without any ads and all of the in-game purchases unlocked. Uh, the screenshot shows titles like Monument Valley, Knights of the Old Republic, uh, which that's doesn't have in-app purchases, uh, Threes, Limbo, Stardew Valley, Ticket to Ride, and Marvel Pinball. Uh, the screenshots also show that a family plan is in the works. The Play Pass service is apparently only in testing and is yet to be formally announced by Google, meaning details could change between now and launch, if it ever launches at all. Duh. I don't care. Interesting concept. Not for me. Yeah. I don't know if that'll work on a mobile platform that has not been curated in any time since six, six, seven, 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 seven. The only interesting part to me is that it doesn't... say the word Inception. Holy shit. It's not just games. Right. Which that's the interesting part to me is like, what are the other premium apps? Because like uh, my grocery list app that cost me five ninety nine. I mean, I don't actually have that, but I know it exists. Yeah. Like if it does have stuff in it that's useful that, you know, might make it worth having for a couple months at a time or something. Yeah. Like if that. you had like some good business apps or something like that out of there, like productivity things. But I, I have a bad feeling that will not be a good uh, game subscription yeah number eight speaking of cyber watch cyber oh sorry i can't say cyber watch that is an entirely dude soup segment i cannot take that from the man the myth the legend lawrence sontag i must say matt and nate's weekly cyberpunk talk comes to us at number eight with cyberpunk 2077 is getting a card game spinoff to launch in 2020 called cyber gwent no sorry hold on <laughs> Fully titled as Cyberpunk 2077 Afterlife, the card game. This standalone deck-based take on CD Projekt's Project Red's role player will also be set in the game's Night City locale. Players will take on the roles of fixers, Cyberpunk's well-connected agents who deal in smuggled goods and information, who then hire Cyberpunks to do their bidding. Cool. As the cards dictate, Matthew. I'm fucking sick of these card games. I block you with my contessa. <laughs> Do you challenge me? Um, As the cards dictate, I shall take two tacks. If anybody n- wants to play uh, Coup, I'm just Coup. saying. Yeah, there was an article, actually. It popped up on my... I don't remember. It popped up. It's like, Coup is this great game. I'm like, yeah, I get with the times, motherfuckers. <laughs> Bitch, I've known about that since I watched somebody else play it. Exactly. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I already watched someone else play it. Get a new game. Um, <laughs> what are you? Some copycat? Number nine. The next major expansion for No Man's Sky Beyond is launching yeah. on August 14th. In a blog post announcing the release date, the game's director, Sean Murray, said that the free expansion will contain three major updates rolled into one. The first update, quote, 
An expanded online experience will bring a radical new social and multiplayer experience, end quote. But it is not an MMO, apparently. Whatever that means. Two. That means you can play in the same world as your friends, but you can't see them. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, shit. <laughs> Early shots fired. Uh, two. Quote, VR support will bring the entire game experience to life in virtual reality. Would actually be interesting. Yep. Because fuck seeing those robots chasing me around the, you know, radiated planets when I'm like, I can't see anything. I can't see anything. So uh, the whole game is in VR, but apparently the way they did movement is um, the micro teleport teleports, which I don't know. I don't have a, enough experience in VR to say one way or the other, but my gut says that I would not like that. Uh, my gut also agrees. And then my gut really wants to go hyperspeed. In my ship. That would be dope. Um, and the third one, it was not clear at all. So I'm just Wait, going to... you mean something about No Man's Sky isn't clear? It was... I read so many articles. I went straight to the blog post. And I'm saying that it's, it clearly says three updates rolled into one. Clearly. The structure of the article was indicative of each bolt... Like each update. The first one was clearly multiplayer. The second one was clearly VR. The third one was clearly not there. <laughs> so I'm going to just assume that it's content in general. I like this. I like this. Uh, I just, I picture you just really pissed. Like, I will. <laughs> like just at your desk, just like really pissed, like angry scrolling. Like, where the fuck's the rest of this article? You only did two? You said three at the beginning. One, two, what the fuck's number three? And that's just, I just picture it just like slowly in your head and then somebody glancing in and you just like angry staring it's like like i'm talking locked finger scrolling where you're just like <sighs> that that's basically almost exactly what happened and i will tell you that when that does happen my the mouse i use has a very loud and positive clicky scroll wheel like so when you're sitting there it's like a 16 step you know it's very right. rough so when I'm scrolling and I'm angry, it's like, <laughs> like, you know, it's. <laughs> oh, you're welcome for that, listener. Number 10. Call of Duty Modern Warfare is getting a few betas. The first beta test for Call of Duty Modern Warfare multiplayer will run September 12th to the 16th, but only on PlayStation 4. In case you haven't figured out what I'm about to say. <laughs> This is about to get real fucking confusing. <laughs> so glad that you landed on this one. All right. So the first <laughs> beta test for Call of Duty Modern Warfare multiplayer will run September 12th to the 16th only on PlayStation 4. Then early access for players who pre-order the PS4 version will run September 12th to the 13th but an open beta will take place from the 14th to the 16th. So let me just kind of spell this out a little bit. If you don't want to pre-order the game, you get it on the 14th and the 16th. If you pre-order it, you get it from the 12th to the 16th. Cool. A second beta test will start on September 19th, when Developer Infinity Ward will test cross-play against PC, PS4, and Xbox One. And like the previous weekend which also doesn't make sense in the sentence, those who pre-order the PC or Xbox One version of the game will get early access to the beta on September 19th to the 20th and open cross-play beta for all platforms <laughs> will run the 21st to the 23rd. So, if you... <laughs> let me just break this all back down again. If you pre-order on PlayStation, you get the beta from the 12th to the 16th. If you didn't, you only get it from the 14th to the 16th. After that, <laughs> wait a fucking second. <laughs> After that, you would get it the next weekend as well. This is, I'm talking strictly PlayStation people. You would get it the next weekend as well from the 21st to the 23rd. Now, if you pre order for PC or Xbox, you get it the second weekend from the 19th to the 23rd. 
if you did not pre-order but are playing on PC or Xbox, you only get it from the 21st to the 23rd. You're welcome. I want to die. What a what a segment to end on there. The old betas. I I don't know if I think that was better than the one for Anthem, but I'm not positive because that's not even the release. Honestly, yeah, it's better than the one for Anthem because that's betas. That's not the fucking release problem. True. Uh, give me. Can you uh, just go to Humble Bundle real quick? Tell me what their new monthly bundle is. Well, I tell you, Matthew, what the PlayStation Plus games are for August 2019. You're gonna get Wipeout Omega Collection, and then you're gonna get Sniper Elite Four. You can run around Italy and shoot Nazis. Xbox Gold, which means you get Xbox games with gold. You're gonna get. Oh, is this correct? I'm going to assume I copy and paste it correctly. You're going to get Gears of War 4, August 1st to the 31st. You're going to get Torchlight on August 1st to the 15th. You're going to get Forza Motorsport 6 on August 16th to September 15th. You're going to get Castlevania Lords of Shadow, August 16th to the 31st. Now, if you have Amazon Prime, you have Twitch Prime, as I rambled on way too long about before. But if you have Twitch Prime, it means you're going to get Pumped BMX Pro. Wonder Boy, Mabel and the Wood, and Automa Chef. Automa Chef? I don't know, but it's a free game, and those are the four for Twitch Prime. And Matt will tell you now what the new monthly bundle guarantees are, and I have no idea if there's any other bundles you want to call out, but I'm looking for mostly the monthly. All right. Uh, well, I'll tell you anyways because I have it pulled up. The games bundle is Crusader Kings, which I don't care about, so I'm not going to go into it. Um, oh, wait, Matt doesn't want to use trebuchets? Not in those games. The superior siege weapon. The other, there's a book bundle for data analysis and machine learning. Machine learning. Real big thing going on right now. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. It's a big thing. Big thing. It's the one of the biggest. I have people that tell me, real big. <laughs> nice. Real, a lot of smart people. The Humble Monthly is Slay the Spire. Ooh, squad. Uh, ooh, which its uh, sub tagline is communicate, coordinate, conquer. Um, you got to give me a movie trailer. Come on, movie trailer that title up. Squad, communicate, coordinate, conquer. There we go. <laughs> the time um, to take my torpedoes. Uh, let's see here, and that's that's the only ones they have available at the moment. Um, yeah. 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 What else was that? That was it. That was really it. There's a, there's some sort of humble hooked on multiplayer bundle. Whatever that is. Hook it on Fahonix. Work kid for me. <laughs> That's an old Brian Regan joke. Uh, Brian Regan, man. Good comedian. Anyway, That's same it. bad time. Yeah. Same bad channel. See you in seven days. Bye-bye.